Good morning, I'm John Woodridge, CEO of Bryan Medical Center, and welcome to our briefing on Thursday, July the 9th. Our midnight census is 430 as of midnight. Uh, we have tested uh, 1, 14,176 patients. We have had 1,716 positives. We do have 613 still pending, and I think we've shared with you that um, we're working with our outside lab. Just this week, we switched to another lab in Kansas City. So we will start to uh, see a hopefully better turnaround um, today uh, from those tests that were done earlier in the week. Uh, but we're still looking at other mechanisms of what we can do for those tests that have to be sent to the outside. We shared in the past, and I just want to reiterate with people that if you are an inpatient or you come in through our emergency department, we have the ability to do a test here at the hospital that's about an hour to a two hour turnaround. But we have limited testing supplies for that. And then we also have another one called Luminex that has about a six to eight hour turnaround time. And we try to reserve those for any of our first responders, police department, individuals that work in hospitals or nursing homes or assisted livings. And that one is in short supply as well. So a lot of the other testing we do send out to a third party lab, but we're looking for alternatives because of what's happening in the rest of the country. They are really getting slammed pretty heavily with a, a lot of tests coming from other parts of the country. So they're working as hard as, as anybody could uh, help with the turnaround uh, of those tests. I do want to share with you, we do have four positive COVID patients in house. Two are from Lancaster County and two from outside of our county. Uh, we have six in total. Uh, we have two that are uh, pending results, so we do count those in our uh, entire total. One is on a ventilator, two are in our ICU, one in our progressive care unit, and one in our general care unit of the positives. Um, somebody raised a question, I think, on Tuesday in relationship to tracers. So we continue to work with the health department. So whenever a positive comes back to us, the health department's notified immediately and they make contact uh, with the individual to figure out who they have been in contact with. But I will tell you a lot of these people when they come in for their test, one of the things that we tell them is go home and quarantine until you get your results back. So that helps from, you know, by the time we get the results back that they haven't had contact with a, a lot of other people. So that we always continue to encourage people if they're coming in to have a, a COVID test done.